What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel if you're passing by or you're just finding me. What's up? I'm Jordan. Thank you so much for just checking out a video. So for today, I'm doing another very casual sit down chit chat video on a topic. Uh, basically last week I came across a video on YouTube from a male YouTuber and he was talking about all about the things that he thinks make women appear more attractive, sexy, beautiful, like why he is attracted to certain people. Um, he was doing a Q&A and people were asking like, for the type of things that he looks for in women when he is looking for someone to be in a relationship with. And some of the things that he had said about women are totally different things than I think women feel about men and like what we look for in a relationship. I know it's different between everyone, but I thought it would be kind of cool to come on and do like a relationship type of video because I haven't done something like this on my channel. So I can definitely do more of these like very casual, like in a chit chat kind of scenario if you guys enjoy it. But I just put together a list on my phone of the major like top things that I find attractive in someone when I am dating them or when I'm looking Looking to be in a relationship with someone these are definitely like key things that I look for and certain things that guys do whether it's how they dress or their personality or certain things where it's just like that's how I find someone attractive so yeah I wanted to just kind of let you guys know I th thought it'd be like a really cool little fun video topic and I also wanted to do this because I want to hear from you guys in the comments I'm really curious to know what are like the major give me like your top three things that you look for in a relationship or your top three things that you find attractive about someone else I would love to know because I think what people find attractive and like get turned on by can be very different so I'm curious to know what you guys think so be sure to leave me a comment um, if you are new to my channel go ahead and subscribe and let's just get started so I just have some bullet points on my phone of what I think makes a man sexy and attractive and just like draws me to him so let me know if you guys agree with any of these so these are in no particular order or anything like that um, but the first thing I put is good with kids Personally to me, okay, if I'm out shopping or out with family or friends and I see someone who like has kids on their shoulders or like he's walking across the street holding his kids hands or even if they're not his kids, you know, he's like babysitting or their family, you get the point. If you're really good with kids, to me that is so attractive because you guys know my son is my everything and I can't wait to have someone in my life who truly loves being that father figure to my son and just playing with him and like truly wants to see him happy. So anytime that I see dads like with their little girl or little boy and they're like shopping for them or they're at the park with them or even just like crossing the street holding their hand like anything being a good parent or just a good uh, parental figure like two younger kids I find that so attractive because I know there definitely is people out there who are not really feeling the kids situation and it's hard when you date someone if you already have a kid like my situation no one has to accept my son but it's just very cool when someone wants to and I just think that people you know loving little kids and like liking being there for little kids I just personally find that really attractive um, the second thing I put is someone who has passion um, whether it be like for a sport they're playing or they're going for their dream job or anything in life where they have a passion for something um, I had met a guy last year who he was very driven on sports and football not because anyone told him to or because football like ran in his family or anything that was like deep at the core of his heart that was his passion and it was really cool to see him every day super dedicated at the gym and writing letters to like get accepted into colleges for certain football programs because that's what he truly loved and whenever we would talk on the phone or anything like I could tell when he talked about football that that was like his true passion and he was so excited to be on the road to being a professional football player. Um, but yeah, that applies to anything. If you just show passion in your everyday life about going for any type of dream or even just a passion for working hard to like to support your family, like anything, I just think having a passion in life is like very attractive to me because some people I talk to they're like I don't know what I want to do with my life blah 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 which again is fine I've definitely been through phases as well where I don't know what I want to do but when you do find your passion and you start to go after it I think that that's super attractive the next thing I put is the ability to laugh at themselves and also to make me laugh if you guys follow me on snapchat I am constantly cracking jokes thinking I am funny when in reality like I know I'm not but I do love to laugh at myself and try to make other people laugh I mean you gotta smile and laugh in life people hello otherwise you're not gonna be happy so someone who tries to make me laugh or just does make me laugh without even trying I really like that I like going out on dates with people and just like socializing when the conversation is very easy and fun and friendly and like not uptight at all 
I don't know, I just love laughing, so anyone who can make me laugh, and also who can laugh at themselves too, like if someone makes a joke about them, if they don't get all shy and like butt hurt, like, I don't know, I just really appreciate when someone can laugh at themselves. The next thing I put is not only to be a kind person, but being kind to people you don't know. There's a really awesome quote that I read, uh, which sucks because my lame ass can't remember the whole thing like word for word, but it was something like, if I'm on a date with you, I don't care how, no, what was it? Something like, the most important thing is not how you treated me, but how you treated the waiter. Like, people you don't know and people who can't do anything back for you, how you treat them. If I'm with someone or we're on a date or something and they leave a good tip or they're extra kind to the waiter or something like that, it shows that you're not just trying to impress me on the date and show that you're a gentleman to me, but that you're kind to other people. I really, really, really appreciate that. That's actually like a huge one for me. But next I put being a gentleman. To me, this is something that is super sexy and attractive and I'm not not talking about paying I'm completely all about like let's each pay half or I'll pay for the meal sometimes or anything like that but if you at least offer to pay and you open the doors and like do all that like gentleman chivalry stuff that is not dead that people should not only have done back in the day I truly still believe in today's day and age that I mean women can be powerful and take charge of course but I just find it very attractive if we're walking to the car who is calling me right now? If we're walking to the car and you like open the door for me, open the door at the restaurant, or even just offer certain things, even if I want to like be a strong independent woman and like pay for things and do stuff myself. Okay, that was weird. I tried to like go on the beat and it didn't work. Anyways, corny. Um, even if you just like offer for stuff, you know, and like be the gentleman in the relationship and kind of take charge, I personally really like that. Next I put well dressed and smells good. Now this is not saying that you have to have a super expensive outfit on, like the flyest shoes on the block, anything like that, superficial, no. I'm just saying that you are like well put together and you pride yourself and when you go out you want to be proud of how you look because I'm totally the same way. I love when I go out on dates, I love to get dressed up and do my hair extensions my lashes, my heels, because the process of getting ready is so fun for me, and I can really appreciate a man who tried to like put together a nice outfit, um, and just who smells good. Ladies, am I right? When you lean in to kiss someone or hug someone or anything and they smell good, whoo, that is like the ultimate, like, you are so attractive to me if you smell bomb. Ladies, I know you feel me. Leave a comment down below if you know what I'm talking about. Another thing I put is having a sense of adventure and who likes to plan fun, creative dates. So not just doing like the basic stuff like going to the movies or staying in, watching Netflix, anything like that, which those are still very fun too. I'm still a very like casual person. I love chilling at home, that's totally fine, but I'd really love to find someone where like once a week or twice a week or something, they plan for us to go on like a hike or something just fun where we can get outside and do something creative that maybe I wouldn't think of. Nothing involving spending a lot of money. It's actually like better if you plan something where we don't have to pay anything and we can just go outside and like just make memories. I really like to go outside and take my little Polaroid camera and snap just pictures of like memories and stuff that we're doing on the spot. It's really cool to look back on. Also, um, I think something's really cool if you take Polaroids every month with the person you're in a relationship with for an anniversary gift, that'd be so awesome to give them like a little scrapbook of Polaroids of like all the stuff that you've done. I think that's really cool. I think I actually might do that in my next relationship. I don't know, I just like thought of that as I was filming this, but yeah, those Polaroid cameras are bomb. Um, but I love just going outside. Anything creative where you like took the time to plan something, even if it's nothing expensive, just going to lay on the beach or like bringing a blanket and like, I don't know, having like a deep life chat with our feet in the water. Anything where you just take the time to plan a date, I just find that very attractive as well Where when it's very like thought out like that and I really do appreciate it. And then my last thing, which is actually like first thing at the top of the list, but I didn't put anything in an order today, is just having a good relationship with your family and with God. Um, I know everyone's religion and, you know, relationship with whatever they believe in is different. Just personally for me, I do believe in God with everything that happened with my son in the hospital. I personally believe God is the only reason he was able to come through all of that. So I have to believe in God and thank God every day just that my son is a miracle and that he's okay. Um, I know certain people don't believe in God and stuff. That's not what this video is about. I'm just saying whatever you believe in, um, for a person for me to be in a relationship with, I would like them to believe in God and just to see that they have a heart for Christ is so, so, so attractive to me. Being able to go into church with someone and do devotionals and be part of like a small group and to just have you as a godly male figure for my son is so, so sexy and important and attractive to me personally. And then I just love when people are close with their family, when we can go to like barbecue 
barbecues and like have big family events I think that's super fun so that's like another major thing on my personal list uh, but yeah that is everything that I wrote down in my phone I just thought it'd be a cool little video topic to do a chit chat and talk with you guys about what I think women find attractive in men. Let me know whatever sex type of relationship that you're in, what you look for in your partner in the comments. There could totally be stuff that I missed. That's just stuff that I wrote down the other day that I wanted to let you guys know about. Um, so yeah, let me know what you're feeling, what you look for, what you think is sexy. Let us know in the comments. If you're just finding me through this video, I have tons of other videos on my page. I would love if you could check them out. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys want more kind of relationship topic chit chats and let me know what my next one should be about. Leave it in the comments, whichever gets the most thumbs up, I'll do my next chit chat about. Um, so yeah, I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe here to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye.